Hello everybody and welcome back to a new unboxing video. We're going to do two for the price of one. So you get two unboxings, or three technically, in one video. So this one is all live recordings and this one is all recordings. Um, yeah. So we'll do this one second because this one won't take too long to unpack. So I really like the design of this box. I think it looks very cool. What about you? Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, this is um, uh, the a record of uh, their concerts in the earliest 70s, 73 and 74, which they played in the northwest of a uh, of America. Excuse me, of the of America, Portland, uh, Seattle, and Vancouver in Canada. Um, and uh, I did get a copy of on the vinyl of this, which is um, so I've heard this album. Um, and and it, it, it is very this box set rather it's very very good indeed, um, and it's also with that the, at that time their fancy new PA system which I saw oh, yeah. late later uh, in 1974 when they came to London to play, but um, the the reason why I mean I like the vinyl, but if you looked at the aesthetics of things. I look, I prefer this one because it, it really has awesome. that Native American feel, and and there's a lot of thought and process, um, you know, going into this box set, um, not least the sort of almost to totem pole probably, of um, some uh, some Indian tribes which were probably uh, in and around the the northwest basin of the U.S. But this is this, it's really good. It's a nice little top there, brown top. So yeah, that's the that's the top of the box as you can see. But and then the underneath has a design on it as well. Yeah. Oh yes, very very as I say, very Native American. And piece of sponge. Yeah. <laughs> and we are greeted with a book. Yep. Which comes wrapped in this fish cardboard, which looks kind of cool. And there's a skeleton underneath. Yeah. And then there's the fish on the top. And what, what's it's probably got the the, what, the the loads of pictures from those particular yeah. gigs and I haven't read it myself yet, but it's probably got um, uh, anthology of um, the area where they were playing, um, and so it looks. I mean, it's a wonderful little booklet there that you've got in, and it's sort of housed by this um, cardboard fish. fish. And now on to, well, we've got one more little extra, and it is this little trinket box, which slides open like that. And inside, it gives you the number of your box set. Um, so only 15,000 of these were made. And this is number 10,295. So Very that nice. is housed in this little box set. Yeah, yeah. So which is very nicely designed may i add yeah again that sort of native american feel Ooh. which is very nice i'm trying to show the lid yeah. there yeah and uh, that just kind of slots in the middle of the box set yeah so this is what it looks like on the inside oh but yeah i'll take this out for now because i think it'll just yeah. fly out otherwise um, so that's the inside it's got some quotes and stuff around yeah the but outside. there's some some lyrics from band i mean i've just seen that one here um What's that one here? Just a box of, uh, just a box of rain, you know the first song on the American Beauty album, which is a wonderful song. So it's the same. Phil Nash song. It's a, uh, um, so that that that's just a lyric that is written in the inside of this box, and it's very very nice. So onto the contents. So this is the biggest of all of the CDs in here. This is Vancouver, Canada, in 1973, and this has got four discs in it. So it's very big set list here and each of the cds has a different animal on them and these ones are just fish aren't they underwater creatures yes these ones are just uh sea creatures um and yeah i actually i like this album cover the most probably yeah yeah so that's the first one I'll put that there. second one here it's again 73 isn't it oregon oregon and it's... these are probably just birds then is it yeah yeah these are these all are... birds and these are probably birds uh, that were indigenous to that area of the US. And this um, is a nice one with the bear there. So this it? is um, Seattle. It's got uh, the bears in it. Bear, Old deer. woodland animals and antelopes. Yeah. 
very nice indeed. So those are all the 73 recordings, and these are the 74 recordings. Yeah. So this is the first one. This is again Canada, Vancouver. And what's that one? Uh, these are, are these. That's just a, a range. Oh, so that's the. The e That's a, I think that's a sea eagle. You know, very nice and an, uh, an owl there. Um, then we have, that's not the next one, so the next one is this one, this is Portland, 74. Portland, Oregon, what have we got, uh, wolves and bears, is it? Oh no, uh, beaver. beaver. Anyway. Just some more designs. And the last one is Seattle, 1974, yeah. which is very Pacific aquatic. Coast. Yeah, very yeah. nice, very nice some indeed. Fish. Yeah. And yeah, looks good. So that is the first box set, and that is why we're including these both of these box sets in all, all three of them technically in one video because if this was a standalone video, it would be very very short. So <laughs> why not put multiple in one? Yep, very nice. As I say, it's a beautifully put together box set. So we'll put that off to the side now. I think you like these ones, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the studio, or well, not just studio. Um, the official releases, I guess. You could of, say. Of, of the Grateful Dead, there's sort of other little bits and pieces here. So, so we got, it's split into two sections. So there. this one is the Golden Road. This starts in '65 to '73, and then Beyond Description, which is '73 to basically the last album that they made. Oh, there's, there's a live album that came out in the early '90s before Jerry passed. Um, so yeah. Okay, so here we go. So. Let's go. Uh, let's, let's get into further detail here. So this, the the these, are basically again, I believe, remixes into CD form of all their albums plus us so a little bit more as well. Yeah. So we'll go to the first one. So this is sixty five to seventy three. Um, and this, this is a very nice book actually. from uh, the initial incarnation of the Grateful Dead from the Warlocks. So and it's, yeah, it's very nice. So the, at the back it gives you it's the, shiny. Uh, it, uh, the box, uh, well, the CD yeah. listing in there. This is uh, like for, metal. That's uh, metal, yeah. It's beautiful. That's and obviously just, the album cover of the Skull and Roses album. And you open it and you get, oh, well, oh no, everything's falling uh, out. And there's a booklet in here. And the one in there looked a bit different, but we'll come to that later. So first thing I noticed when we opened this was this fell out <laughs> so yeah that is i think yeah something so this is the booklet you know goes through all the there's some pictures that early th pictures load of early pictures we see the story of um san francisco as well at that in the bay area at that time and all that was going on so so they have these little ribbons that come out like that and you can just pull them out so this is the first so we'll go second. through these real quick because at the end of the day I think most people know this but this is just an extra um, early recordings of the, the birth of the den incredibly young looking I mean Bob Bob Weir in that looks like he's just out of high school yeah <laughs> so that's the first one that's and then the um, this is the first official Grateful Dead album which is basically um, I think this is a live album as well from uh, during the, what they call the acid tests in the uh, middle to late sixties. You know, the um, you know the Keezy, Ken Keezy, uh, Jack Cassidy. You know, obviously people like that. So uh, in here, the booklets are actually glued into the into the sections. So yeah, and Jack can... Kerouac. They all sort of hang out with the dead. In these early like the days in seven ten H Ashbury. Is that the original label? Uh, that's the original label as well. That's um, the Warner Brothers label which they first signed on. Next up. And then um, this is sort of like the first studio album as such. This is Anthem of the Sun. Um, Again with the book clip built into the sleeve. All the the information at the back there. And each of these actually comes with bonus stuff if you can see at the bottom there. Oh, right, it so comes it's with if it's a studio album it'll come with some like live extra live stuff and demos and all the stuff that yeah one and, would like. and also the, the these CDs are presented again beautifully 
Um, uh, this is sort of like that matte finish. Uh, so this is what Alex, Alex and Maxua, um, which is um, obviously got the great songs like St. Stephen and yeah, St. Stephen, uh, Dupree Diamond Blues, China Cat Sunflower, which is wonderful. Uh, next up. Then the, the brilliance is uh, <laughs> that is uh, the, the Live Dead album, which is the one with the great Dark Star on it. Again, all of these have got bonus material on it. And also, there is, um, you know, that they're all basically the Warner Brothers years. So let's put these back in here. So next on the next stop, and when we go on from that Live Dead album, we'll go back into the studio again. And this is obviously we're getting to now towards the. The uh, Mellow Dead Working Man's Dead, which is great. Again, the usual thing with this sort of like the the information booklet stuck on the and other side. And all the bonus material. Uh, American Beauty. So they all, they're all in that like kind of vinyl looking sleeves. I think they're called mini LPs, this all type right. of CD casing. Is uh, it on? Yeah. This one opens up like that. Right. That's lovely. That's the Skull and Roses album. My God, that's a good album. Uh, yeah. You've got the triple album? The triple album and the greatness that is Europe 72. And again with the booklet. I only keep mentioning that. They're all kind of built into that. And then we have the Bears Choice. With all the bears on it. All the, the bears on it, which is... Uh, 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 an album in tribute to one of the road managers that the dead had. I think it was called Bear Owsley or something like that. Okay. And um, they wrote an album with him in mind, the Bear's Choice. So, but you know, so those are the sort of um, CD set from the early years of the dead. And that all fits in very nicely. And that fits on very nicely. Unfortunately, um, the next box set isn't quite in the same condition. Yeah, so this one was sealed, I think, and when we got sealed it. Mint. And sealed and purely mint, yeah. This one was uh, labelled as mint. Near mint. Or near mint, and it's... Or it's labelled as mint, but I would say probably... It's not. It's, it's not. It's quite bashed up, but the CDs don't sound terrible, you know, they haven't got any scratches on them or anything, they sound very good. It's just the actual box itself. That's... So this one is The Grateful Dead, Beyond Description, which uh, um, charters their later years up till when they uh, broke up. Well, not really broke up, but up to 1989. And this is, you know... Again, a sort of copper finish in the front. And it's actual, it's textured, you know. It's met metallic as well, yeah. So, as I said, this looks a bit different on the inside. So, the booklets are actually split in two, rather than one long book. So, one of them's about albums, and one of them's about the group itself. So, let's just go here. This is the first section. Yeah. And this is the booklet. They're all CD-shaped. And, you know, just information about, about their albums. Yeah, which is good. About each one. Please run. Good album. So, so here we go. Obviously, um, uh, Wake of the Flood, which is a great album. Have we got still got the same kind of thing feel in that one? No, no there's no right. booklet there's in this no one. Booklet, booklet. But there is. So on the inside, instead of the booklet, it's just the track listing, the bonus material, it, and yeah. the personnel, which Absolutely. isn't actually on the back of here. So it's on the inside, and the CDs themselves look different. Yeah. So that's what the CDs in this box look like. I think they look a lot cooler, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so, it's uh, from the Mars Hotel. Yeah. Some great songs on that. Um, the Blues for Anna. Again, Samson Delilah, great song. Oh, uh, Neve's favourite, uh, Terrapin Station. The Grateful Dead Go Prague. And yeah. then the Dead sort of went into this sort of uh, almost funk jazz kind of thing, Shakedown Street. Uh, and there's some good stuff on there. Shakedown Street's very good. The actual track is very good. But, you know, personally, my I prefer my dead... Psychedelic. Uh, psychedelic or prog or uh, rock or country. Um, so that's the first section. And on to the second bit. So this is obviously when Brent Milan 
uh, join the band. So again, another booklet, but this one is about the band rather than the album. So yeah. It's just a, a little flick through there. So there's the first one. Oh dear. Um, so this one here is was this go, uh, go to heaven. So this is go to heaven. Now I have to digress here. Um, I love my bands of the 70s, whether it's The Dead, which we're looking at today, or Genesis, or Emerson, Lake and Palmer, or Yes, or yeah. any of those bands, but I loved them when I loved them. Yeah. Um, and I don't really see the point of, you know, Love Beach. I mean, the three of them in Emerson, Lake and Palmer look like they're in Miami Vice. And similarly here, on, the, on, on this one here, they... They they look like they they're they're sort of bad you know like Jerry looks like a badass drug dealer in Miami, I mean what's that all about? Um, and of course I, I, I'm not I've got to be honest, I'm not such a big '80s Dead fan. I think they came roaring back with the last couple of bits in the '90s, um, Ready or Not album, which was the one before Jerry died. Um, and that album there, not that one, this one here, yeah. I think that's the album with their biggest selling single, isn't it? Of, no, uh, that's it's this one. one. Oh, it's in the dark. So that's the one with Touch of Grey. Um, you know, they, they're good. But, yeah, and, and, and live dead wise, um, we've got two CDs here. This, this one here is, there is one great number, I think, is a fire on the mountain on it? Mm. Yes, it is. Like thirteen. Oh yeah. Uh, fire on the 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 fire on the mountain rendition on this uh, particular album is is really excellent. This one's the one live over San Francisco or something, or is it? Dead set. Oh, just dead set. And okay. um, lastly, in the box set, which, which is uh, the uh, acoustics uh, uh, live album. Which one of this is Reckoning, isn't it? Yeah, I think the CDs look good in this one. Oh, very, very nice. And again, a very good album. You know, like in the 80s, I sort of concentrated on listening to The Dead a lot more, the albums a lot more, listening to their interpretations of uh, their, their older stuff. And, to be honest, a lot of their cover versions, yeah? Yeah. Which, uh, which they did a lot, particularly a lot of Dead covers, uh, Dylan covers, rather. But overall, again, if you want to get into the dead... Some great box sets. There's some great box sets and there's a lot of listening in there. Uh, and, and, you know, with, with, between these two, you're seeing the anthology of arguably the greatest band ever to come out of the USA, uh, pound for pound. Um, there have been bands up there which which are very good in their certain uh, ways, whether it is prog or metal or uh, blues metal. or southern uh, southern rock or, or country and western or or, or soul or anything, but overall I just think I mean it's, obviously it's a personal view that you have virtually all the bases covered with the dead, and uh, you know wonderful musicians. Um, my two favourite are well, obviously Jerry, we're not worthy, um, and Phil Lesh, who's just the most amazing bassist. Um, and so, if you've got those two box sets, you can enjoy virtually everything there. You can enjoy the studio experience and, and the live and the live experience. So I think um, that on that note, we should uh, say um, good evening because I think. We've, we've done enough of, enough of the dead so far. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot done... of filming today, but this yeah. video might not come out until later in the week. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I hope you like this, and I hope you found it interesting and illuminating. And maybe add stuff, stuff to add to your pod list. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. See you all in the next video. Um, and I will see you next Saturday. Possibly, yeah. Hmm. I will see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good week. Bye.